surrounded by unprecedented security, Mahmoud Abbas leaves for Amman on his way to the summit in Sharm el-Sheikh on Monday. But even before the summit is convened, he receives a signal from President Mubarak, a statement of intentions which should only please Abbas. In a speech before delegates of the National Party in Cairo, Mubarak said Hamas had carried out a military coup in the Gaza Strip and crossed all red lines. These statements should worry Ismail Haniyeh and the Hamas leadership, who figured they would manage after seizing control of the Gaza Strip. The Egyptian border is the only ray of hope, and after Mubarak closed it off, Haniyeh will have to find a creative solution to the problem of sustaining Hamas rule in Gaza when all the crossings are closed. نحن لا نريد أن نقيم إمارة إسلامية كما يقول أبو مازن حتى يصور للعالم إنه هذه طالبان وهذه إرهاب وهذا. And this is how Hamas is preparing for the summit. The deputy chairman of the Hamas party in parliament puts an obstacle in the way of Abbas and his entourage moments before they walk the red carpet in Sharm. العمل لصالح المخابرات الأمريكية والصهيونية ودول أجنبية حيث قاموا بتسليم معلومات معلومات تضر. عن دول عربية وإسلامية سلموا معلومات عن مواقع وأماكن سلموا معلومات عن رجالات علم وسياسة ووزراء عرب ومسلمين The words are aimed at the preventive security men in Gaza who were headed by Rashid Abu Shbak. Shbak was up to recently the commander of the Palestinian security forces, head of the National Security Council, and was fired following the Fatah's failure, the Fatah's snafu, as it is called in Gaza. بعد فشل أداء مهمته في كمدير عام الأمن الداخلي الرئيس اعتبر أنه هناك في حالة تقصير فأقاله من منصبه وهناك لجان تحقيق But no commission of inquiry or summit are likely to bring back the rule of Fatah to the Gaza Strip